Hello guys. Welcome back to Algorithms Made Easy. We will go through the day 15 problem from the Mail Eat Coding Challenge. We are given a circular array C of integers represented by A. We need to find the maximum possible sum of a non-empty subarray of C. Let's go through some of the examples. We will be discussing some of them in detail later. In the first example, the maximum subarray is just the element 3 which is in between the first and the last element of the array. So we just return the value. In the second example, maximum subarray is formed by joining the last element to the first element. So we add them both and return 10. This is our circular array case. We will discuss this in detail in a minute. In third example, we get the subarray by using both normal subarray sum and circular subarray sum. In fourth example, we get the subarray between first and the last. Let's try and formulate an algorithm. First, we will find the sum of the array. Then, we will find the maximum sum of the array and we will call it maxsum. Then, we will find the minimum sum of the array and we will call it minsum. At the end, we will return the max of maxsum and the sum minus minsum. We are doing this because either we can get max by finding the max subarray between the first and the last element or in the circular ones by finding the difference between the minimum subarray and the total sum of the array. It will be more clear when we go through it step by step. So let's start. We have already made a video explaining all the methods of finding the maximum subarray in detail earlier. You may check that out as well. Link to this video is at the top and also in the description below. The best way to find the maximum sum is by using the Cadence algorithm. It is the only algorithm which gives us result in linear time and constant speed. So we will be using that in this problem. Some of you might not be familiar with it. So let's walk through the algorithm first. Let's consider input array as nums. We will initialize two integers maxim and max with the first value of array. Maxim will store the maximum of current maxim plus element and maxim. While max will store the maximum of current maxim and max. We will update both with every element. At the end we will get max. Let's take a few examples and find out how we will be able to solve this problem using the Cadence algorithm. Given our input array, let's first see how cadence will work and give us the maximum sum. We will first initialize our two variables and then start iterating on the array from index equal to 1. We will update the max sum with maximum of current max sum and the element. In this case, as sum of 1 and minus 2 is greater than minus 2 itself, we update max sum to minus 1. We will update max also with the maximum of current maxim and the max. The maximum of 1 and minus 1 is 1. So we update it. Similarly, we will do it for all the elements. As we have reached the end, we will return max which is 3. Now let's calculate the sum of the array. For this example, it will be 0. Now as we have the max and sum, we need to find the min of the array. We can get this too by using our cadence algorithm, but with a slight change in the input array. To find the min, we'll flip the sign of all the elements in the array and find the max of this new array. As we have flipped the sign of max, it will indeed be the minimum of the array. We apply cadence on this updated array and Similar to what we did previously, we get the max at the end. Here we get max as 2. As this is the result of the flipped array, we will flip the answer sign as well to get the minimum value which will be minus 2. As now we have all the three values, we will find the maximum of max and sum minus min. We get 3 as max and so we return 3. Now coming on to our next example, we will find the sum of the array. Now we find the max of the array by using Cadence algorithm. We get 7 as the max. Now we need to find the min sum. 
So we flip the signs of the array and find the max again using the Cadence algorithm. We get 3 as our max. We flip its sign to get the min of the array. Now we have all the three values. So we find the maximum of max and sum minus min. Here we get 10 as the result. So we return 10. The time complexity of this algorithm will be O of n and space will be O of 1. The link to the code is in the description below. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe the channel. Check out my other videos for more interview problems. Let me know in the comment section what you think about the video. Also, if you want me to make a video on one of your problem statement, do comment.